this is Ken Cap from Kaplan Cycles on site at the New England Motorcycle Museum where this bike's on display right now. This is a Jeremy McGrath replica, 1996 CR250. Um, they just did a full write-up in Racer X magazine on this bike. Uh, something like a seven-page article that I'm going to read some ex excerpts to you. And I think the best part about it is Ken Roxon said after riding the bike, he said, by the time Roxon was done riding with McGrath's 20-year-old bike, he felt like it could qualify for an AMA Supercross main event today. Unfortunately, the AMA rulebook doesn't allow bikes that are more than five years old to remain homolog homologated, which means we can only imagine whether Kenny could really compete for the King's bike. But basically, there are local pros in New England that have these bikes, and they go out and they wax, wax the new four-strokes on these 252 strokes because they're, they're probably uh, five to eight horsepower more, sometimes 10 horsepower more, depending on where you're on the power band. This one here is an absolutely gorgeous bike that has had a frame off restoration over 45 hours labor. It was stripped right down to the frame. The frame was powder coated, uh, the Honda white, the wheels were completely dismantled and the um, uh, hubs were powder coated, uh, nice uh, deep red color as was a lower triple clamp. The engine was completely rebuilt. The cases were split, everything was cleaned up. The gearbox was gone through. Brand new clutch pack was installed. Uh, the cylinder was sent to Millennium Technologies and it was mated with a brand new Pro X piston. A brand new crank was installed. All new gaskets throughout the entire engine. Um, the uh, uh, pipe is a brand new Pro Circuit platinum pipe with a bud raising, bud racing carbon fiber silencer. Check out the silencer on this thing. This thing just makes absolute music. The sound is amazing. Um, the rims were cut powder coated with black. The hubs are the candy red. They were remixed and true with brand new spokes. Uh, the clutch and ignition covers were powder coated wrinkled, wrinkled black. Uh, has a factory style finish on it. It has an oversized 118 applied built top trip clamp. Uh, brand new UFO plastic kit. Uh, Jeremy McGrath replica number one plates. Uh, throttle jockey heavy fiber. Factory replica graphics kit and seat cover. So this is a factory replica. This is exactly what McGrath would have had, had ridden um, as far as the plastics and, and uh, uh, graphics would go. Uh, the shock was rebuilt with a brand new oil and charged with new nitrogen. Uh, the front rear brake calipers were rebuilt with new seals and the master cylinders bled. Uh, brand new oversized foot pegs. Check out the foot pegs on this thing. Those are 2015 um, uh, oversized foot pegs. A uh, brand new fuel tank was installed on the bike, so it's perfectly crisp white. Uh, all the bolts on the engine case bolts and the clutch ignition cover bolts are all brand new. M almost all the hardware on the bike is new. Um, the shock linkage was clean and new bearings installed. Brand new chain and sprockets. That's a gold uh, Renthal chain. Um, has the Renthal bars, uh, Renthal grips, uh, new chain and sprockets, new chain blocks and sliders. A, com a complete frame off restoration has been done on this bike. And check this out. I actually, in addition to the magazine that, that shows this bike on the cover, uh, the King for a Day, uh, and the seven page uh, write up on it, I also have the, the title to the motorcycle uh, manufactured in October 4th of 95. It's a 1996 Honda, 213 pounds, um, super light, super fast. This was an absolutely mint original bike that, uh, that was chosen to do the uh, customization and rest restorization on. Um, over $7,000 was between parts and labor and uh, service was put into the bike during the restoration plus the initial cost of the bike. So if you think you're gonna pick up one for two grand on, on Craigslist and make it look like this uh, and, and have it come out anywhere near to this, um, good luck. Uh, it's, it's a big, it's a long-term pro process doing a bike like this. Brand new works connection, uh, factory aluminum uh, frame guards, the, um, uh, the springs on the pegs are brand new. The swing arm's in beautiful condition. Everything on the bike is, is, is beautiful and straight. Everywhere you look, it's gorgeous. Brand new air filter, uh, brand new um, UFO gas cap with the uh, breather, Renthal crossbar pad. Everything's crisp. Um, it has the quick adjust clutch. Uh, just a beautiful bike. The tires on it, take a look at the tires on this. Brand spanking new, along with everything else, brand new. A brand new set of Dunlop Geomax MX52s. Still got the nubs on them. Believe me, the guys carried the bike into the showroom from the service department. These tires haven't even touched the ground other than rolling across the showroom here. Um, chain and sprockets are new. Uh, bike is absolutely gorgeous. The, the, the chain adjuster bolts are new. Um, the rollers on the, uh, on the uh, chain rollers and the chain slider is brand new. Look at the shock spring. Candy apple red, 
uh, power decoder seem to match the hubs and to match the lower triple clamp. Um, just a beautiful bike, you know. Buy one used and, 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 and turn it into this. And, and if you pay a shop to do it, you're going to have close to 10 grand. Do it yourself, and you've got thousands of parts and, and uh, you know, 50 hours plus of your time. If, if, if it took a shop 45 hours to do it, it's probably going to take you 90 to do it at home. Um, and if you even have the tools to split the cases and everything else. Pro Circuit Platinum Pipe is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the bike has been uh, ridden since it was restored. It's got maybe an hour and a half of ride time on it just to seat the, the pistons and rings and uh, sort everything up. Everything works perfectly on the bike. The thing hauls the, the mail. It's very, very fast, uh, as you would expect it would. If you wanted to buy this and go out and roll, run it in your local pro class, in New England, they allow you to compete against the four strokes with this, and it will absolutely wax the new four strokes. And it's a lot of fun, and it turns heads everywhere you go. Hey, what's, what's that guy's name that ran the two-stroke uh, nationals uh, against the four strokes last year? Jared Stank. Oh, Stank Dog. Yeah, we went to the nationals last year. The only guy in a two-stroke who was up in like 25th place, the entire crowd was cheering for him. His name was Jeremy, and they, they nicknamed him Stank Dog. And every time he came by, it was like, Stank Dog! So, you have to believe me, if you run this thing, this is a museum piece. It should be hanging from the ceiling of your man room. It should never be ridden again. But if you want to ride it, it's, it's an ass-kicking machine that'll just smoke a lot of the modern bikes. Um, fantastic bike. Everything's been done on it. Uh, a portion of the proceeds are going to fund the New England Motorcycle Museum. So not, not only are you buying a documented title uh, with a magazine feature on the, on the, the same model bike, um, in a, in a list of, of the work order of what was done to it. You're, buy, you're helping, you're buying a piece of local history. Jeremy, a replica of McGrath's um, championship winning the, 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 the King's bike. Uh, you're also helping support the New England Motorcycle Museum. So um, good luck bidding on the bike. You're welcome to come take a look at it. I think from the, from the portion of the video, you heard the bike running. You can, you did, this thing's been tuned to perfection and it's ready to rumble. Um, very fast, very smooth bike and it's, it's, it's eye candy, it's gorgeous. So good luck bidding on it, and God bless America.